Hello wonderful viewers, the audio file barista here. I shot this video quite some time ago and was not happy with some of the things I did. So some of the footage now has a voiceover and some footage still has the original sound. Anyways, enjoy the video and I'll see you at the next one. One of the things that I have in my house but not in my living room is a surround sound setup. And one of the things on my wish list is to have a surround sound setup in the same room as my projector. Sounds logical, right? So why not put my surround sound setup in the living room? Well, I guess the main reason is that I think a surround sound setup should consist of all speakers of the same manufacturer so you have a consistent sound signature all around. And as my main speakers are my wonderful Ocelias, this would mean that I would need Ocelia surround speakers and an Ocelia center speaker. Now, apart from those speakers not even existing in the manufacturer's lineup, it is mainly the $20,000 that I would need to buy them that I don't have. I mean, the new price for my two front loudspeakers is some $12,000 a pair at the moment so that is not going to happen. Another reason for not replacing my current setup is that the Linnincas are not anywhere near the quality of the Ocelias for stereo so they are not going to replace them. Besides watching movies with an excellent stereo setup and two real loudspeakers is not really a disappointment. So for this video I dismantled my main stereo setup and I replaced it with a Lin Marantz setup. First, let's have a look at my current home theater setup downstairs. At the front there is a Samsung TV, the two Lin Ninka left and right channels and the Lin Center. There is also a small RL subwoofer and of course the AV equipment from Marantz. At the rear there are two more Lin loudspeakers for the surround channels and I'm still on the lookout for the matching Lin subwoofer but they don't often appear on the second hand market here. So let's get all of this upstairs. Now one thing a project like this is good for is to check if there's anything you want to change. It was years ago that I put this surround sound setup together and at the time I was out of a job so everything had to be as cheap as possible or done with equipment that I already had. Now after this period I started to upgrade the system bit by bit and the last thing that I really want to change are the loudspeaker cables that go to the surround loudspeakers. For the three speakers at the front I use all Van den Hull cable but the long runs to the rears have not been replaced yet. At the time I used the absolute cheapest crappy cables I could find. These are so cheap that they did not even bother to put any serious conductor material in the return channel. This is aluminium, the absolute worst material for loudspeaker cables. Before before I could place the new loudspeakers I had to remove the old ones. I spent a lot of time finding the perfect position for my main speakers so I placed some markers on the floor to make it easier for myself and I restored the system. And of course these markers gave me a nice starting position for the new setup. Another job was to terminate all the new cables with banana plugs. Now in order to get the best audio and video performance I wanted my Oppo to do the video processing instead of the Marantz. Audio processing was left for the Marantz of course because that is where where all the loudspeakers will be connected. This meant that I needed two HDMI cables, one going from the Oppo to the projector and the other one going from the Oppo to the Marantz. The Oppo has a setting for that called Split AV. When I got some of the first connections done and the three front speakers connected, I wanted to get a first taste of course. I mean, why wait until you're completely done, right? Also, I have a very tiny SA CD collection that don't get much around sound play, so I put one in the player and was completely disappointed. I was expecting great placement and a good center image, but I got none of that. My regular stereo setup sounded much better. What was happening? Well, one of the things that was happening is that unlike in a stereo setup, you need to tell the AV receiver where the loudspeakers are. So that's up next. Here's a clip with the original sound. In order to set up my loudspeakers, I connected a monitor to the Marantz. And if you look over here, if you want to adjust your speakers, you go, I go to manual setup. And there you can see speaker configuration, meaning fronts are large, the center is large. At this moment I don't have a subwoofer connected, so no subwoofer and the surrounds are large. So let's go back to the next one, which is distances. I already did that, but what you want to do is to measure all loudspeakers, the distance to your listening position right over there and enter it 
right over here. So front left, front right, front center are about 3 meters and 90 centimeters away. The surround left, surround right are much closer of course, 1 meter 80 centimeters. And the last thing that you will do is to look at levels. So if I do that, all are now, well, this is distances, so let me go back on levels um, with a test tone. Because front left is now selected. If I change that, now you hear the center. And what I'm going to do by using that test tone, I placed a, let me zoom in, a decibel meter app right over there where I'm sitting. So I'm going to play some sounds, the test tone, and make sure that every single loudspeaker has the same volume at that spot right over there. Here you can see the app. When I'm talking, it goes a little bit louder. And when I'm silent, let's pick up the remote, go to test tone. As you can see, it's 61 for the front left loudspeaker. We do front right loudspeaker, check out. It's about the same, 61. Check out the center. So what you do, because the center is a little bit louder, let's turn it down a little bit. And if we have a look now. So now this is also at 61. And that's what you're going to do to all of your loudspeakers. After adjusting, you can see there are some differences. I chose the center to be 0 dB and line up everything else towards the center. But the front right has a plus of 2.5 dB and the front left has a plus of 4 dB. That's quite a big difference. And if you look, I made a mistake, that's what happens when you do this marker, which from these three markers is the rear foot of the oscilla, which has three feet. And you see this one is placed on the inside. And this one I know now what I've done. I've used the front right corner to line it up with this marker. But of, of course, this should be on the left corner. So let's change that and let's see if this has an effect on this minus 4 dB. I change this one to this position. And if we look at the differences now, it is already a difference of 1 dB, from 4 dBs to 3 dBs. And if we look at the differences between left and right, 3 dB and 2.5 dB is a half dB, which is much closer than 1.5 dB differences. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check again if the distances for both left and right fronts are the same. And maybe that's where the difference comes from. Let's check it out. Well, the front left was like two 
maybe three centimeters further away from the listening position than the front right loudspeaker. Um, I compensated a little bit, but it's, they are more or less all the same with 3 dB for the front left, 0 dB for the center, front right 2.5 dB plus, and the surrounds left, left and right are half a dB in plus. Okay, let's move on to the next step. So I was getting different readings for the distance when sitting there and holding the measurements device next to my ears and every time I measured it was a little bit different which is normally of course so what I did I placed my tripod on the chair put the measuring device up here and now when I click this what you can see is that the measurement point is right next to the tweeter and this is what I did with this one with this tweeter and with this tweeter and I had to change a little bit here and there and now all three are at the same distance so front left front right and center at four meters and two centimeters so now we are back to measuring the volume again and finally here is the end result I now have the surrounds at zero dB they appear to be the softest I used the app right over there and I put it on 70 at volume 70 dB on the app and after doing that the result was that the front right had to go 3 dB up um, from the surrounds the center a half dB and the front left three and a half dB so you see between the front right and the front left there stays a gap of 5 dB um, well that's what it is with these settings they all have the same volume at the listening position right over there and that's what I was aiming for after setting all the levels at the same volume the next thing you do or the next thing that I did was to go sit down right in my listening spot and listen to what I'm hearing and when I was listening to the music it was too much that the music was only in front of me it felt like the surround sound loudspeakers were just turned off so what I did is I went into the setup again and the three front loudspeakers left right and center I turned down all three of them a half dB so they're now at three zero and two and a half dB and the surrounds are still at zero dB and then when I got up and placed myself in the listening position and listening you could see that let me go back a little bit trying to explain this so first when I listened the sound was more or less over there only and there was not enough right over here so after the change just half dB on these three loudspeakers now the sound is more right over here feeling much better so I'm going to do this one more time turning down all three loudspeakers half a dB and let's see what the effect of that is and one more time some changes were made so what I started to do is to turn up the surround sound loudspeakers a half dB they were at 0 dB now they are at 0.5 dB then I started listening and then I tried one more time and turned both surrounds up to 1 dB but then that was too much and how do I know what you want over there is to feel like somebody is standing right over there with air around it when I was at a half dB plus that was okay when I went over that to 1 dB plus for the surround sounds the person standing here became 
a little bit, well, is he standing here or here? It came, became a little bit diffuse. Where, where is this person standing? When I turned it back down, it snapped into place again. So this is a completely different set of volumes that came from the measurements. Measurements are fine, but then you are going to fine tune it by ear. At least that's what I am going to do. Now, I have only been listening to music. It is still too light in this room. So tonight I'm also going to do the same thing with uh, movies. And then I'm finally done. So I was getting close with all my measurements and still I decided to make another change having the center loudspeaker right over there. And the reason for that is that it just looked messy. Not a real good audiophile reason, but this is my living room. I have to look at it every day. So I thought, well, let's get the two mono amps out of the way and give the center speaker a nice place right over here. But this also means that I'm back to doing the correct distances and the correct um, loudness. So here we go again. As you can see here, there's only one subwoofer output and I want to connect two subwoofers. So what do you do? Well, what I did, I got me one of these male RCA to two times female RCA and over here and this is what you get let me get it out for you this is just a simple male RCA two times female RCA well built from audio quests and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to put into the AV receiver and have both of these connect to the two subwoofers. And this is what it looks like when you have both cables connected. As you just saw, I installed two subwoofers. Now it has only one port. So also in the menu, let's set up the menu. I'm also running into trouble. So let's go to speakers, manual setup, speaker configuration so i set the subwoofer on yes if we go distances now there is a problem because i have two subwoofers one is standing very close to the listening position and the other one is standing very far from the listening position so what do you do when you can only use one subwoofer input for distance and if we look at the levels for all the different loudspeakers there's only one setting for the subwoofer so what to do well if you go to distance as you noticed over here I put down 3 meters 44 centimeters now how did I get there well what you do from the listening position you measure the distance to both subwoofers and you divide it by two and that's it and then you're going to listen to the correct level by ear this is the center loudspeaker and if you look from the side what you can see is that it is angled up a little bit now i'm sitting pretty far from this center loudspeaker and when i follow this line all the way up to where i'm sitting it just shoots over where I'm sitting. So what I'm doing, I'm having him on these little rubber feet. So I'm going to stack two on top of each other, place them under the rear in order to get the angle down a little bit. Okay, so this is what a home theater in transition looks like. I keep changing things. That's why I have to keep updating you guys. And what else did I change? Well, if you look at the rear, let's stand in the middle. One surround loudspeaker is now closer than the other one. And now I have a pathway right over there to walk there. But that meant that this loudspeaker needed to be much more uh, to the rear. 
and if you look at the other side there is no possibility to place it more to the rear so this one is closer to the listening position right there in the middle than that one now that is not a problem except for the fact that now i have to go back again do all the measurements and then do all the uh, volume settings so that's what is next so maybe setting up a system like this is maybe more about endurance than uh, only uh, skills if you are one of those guys that is able to set up a surround sound system in one afternoon i compliment you i find it very complex and because there's so much equipment involved and so many things have to work together it's a different deal than just two channel uh, music even though there's a lot of knowledge involved to get a really good sound from a stereo for a stereo system i think that is still really a skill to have but this is something else and then of course you also have the the picture quality which is another thing okay so this video is getting pretty long and i'm still not done but i did want to give you the feeling that setting up this system was quite a bigger task than i anticipated but i learned a lot and we had some wonderful movie nights so it was totally worth it but anyways, if you are still watching this far into the video, type coffee in the comment section so I know. Now would I do this again? Well, maybe. I know now that the way I have set it up downstairs is pretty okay. So there is no real need to have an overcrowded living room with two complete sets if I can have my home theater downstairs. But I also know that next time it won't take me as long as it did this time because this experience taught me a lot. So let me share some final thoughts with you. So the main fault of course was that I had no plan. It was the first time I did this, so for the next time I will have a better idea of what I want. Step 1. Next time I will start at the end, meaning I will place everything, loudspeakers and equipment, at their final position. This time I did not do that and along the way I changed the position of the center loudspeakers and later on I changed the position of the surround loudspeaker for practical reasons. But every time I made a change I had to redo all my measurements. Not a very effective way. Step 2. Connect all your cables. Step 3. Start by setting up your two main loudspeakers for a good stereo image. Don't start with all the speakers at the same time. Step 4. Measure all your loudspeakers so the AV receiver knows all the distances and the volume for all the loudspeakers. You already did the two main loudspeakers of course. Step 5. Sit in the listening position and adjust the surround experience by ear. A tip that I got from a friend was to use the THX and Dolby trailers for this. It worked very well for me and you can just find those on the web. By the way, I kept the surrounds at the same level all the time, so the only adjustments that I had to make were on the three front loudspeakers. Step 6. After you have set all your loudspeakers and you're satisfied, now turn on the subwoofers and match them to the rest of the system. Use the same trailers. Step 7. Put on your favorite movie and enjoy the show. Step 8. Well, there is no step 8. You made it to the end of the video. This is probably the longest video I ever made and still most of all the video that I shot ended up on the cutting room floor. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comment section about your struggles in setting up your home theater. And I see you in the next one.